Hey guys, we're here at the Ubuntu booth. I thought I'd cover this because Linus likes his iPhone way too much. Um, and we're just here to check out a demo. So if you can show me how the phone goes. Sure. So this is Ubuntu phone, and we'll start by showing you our welcome screen. We don't like to call it a lock screen because we want to welcome you to your phone. And what we've done here is this is an infographic of things about you. So this infographic will dynamically change throughout the day based on your social media feeds to kind of give you a visual representation of things about you. Okay, so the color, the intensity of the colors around the circle are, is going to change depending on what social media groups you have messages in and whatnot? Exactly, correct. Very cool, very cool. So this is Ubuntu. Uh, this is not a port of Ubuntu. This is the same operating system that runs on your desktop or in the cloud. Right. And uh, as you see here from the left, this is actually the Unity launcher, yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into the phone here. So the first thing I'll show you is our home screen. So this is our Unity home lens. And this is a dynamic lens that will change throughout the day as well as you do frequently used apps, your missed calls, new media that you may add to the phone, etc. Our apps lens, which is your currently running applications, your installed apps, and even apps available for download from our app store. Right, and you guys will have a dedicated button for that on release, I'm assuming? Exactly. Right, perfect. So let's go ahead and, uh, and launch an application. Okay. So I'll launch our native photo gallery app. And what we've tried to do, our design philosophy here, is you'll notice we have no physical buttons or no hard buttons right, uh, right. or no soft buttons. I've noticed a lot of awesome swiping action so far. Exactly. We want to be completely gesture-based. Right. So if you notice here, the whole screen is available for your content. But if you use swipe up from the bottom of the screen, you'll notice that we have control buttons on demand. Because you typically don't need them. So right, right. why have them always be there? Of course, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. that's very cool. So, uh, Is there any multitasking capabilities or anything of the phone that you yeah, can show exactly. us? exactly. So we use the left edge for launching apps, right. the bottom edge for controls, right. and the right edge here would be to actually switch between running applications. So this is the way you would do multitasking. Very, very cool, very cool, very quick, very, adds a lot to the fluidity of the phone. That's very awesome, I like that. So then, how do you get back home to the Unity screen? It would be one quick gesture across the screen and that right. brings you back home. Very cool. So th those are the three edges. We have one other edge here, which is the top edge, and this, if I use, is allows me to get at all the settings within the phone from anywhere throughout the... Uh... You would just go along the top there? Yeah, see how it selects different things as he swipes it across? Exactly. So you pull down and then go left and right. Very swipe-tastic, awesome. And you can just reply, call someone back uh, right in line here without ever having to leave what you're doing on the phone. So, so many times you've probably been on your phone, oh, how do I turn off Bluetooth, or how do I get back to a right. setting? Right. Well, they're all right here for you at your fingertips at all times. Right. Now, this isn't based on Android, so what kind of phones are we going to see this available on? So, we're currently talking to a ton of manufacturers right now. I can't say any right now, but right, right, exactly. later in the year, you'll, you'll be seeing handsets come out. That's awesome. What phone is it being developed, uh, shown on right now? Right. So, this is the Galaxy Nexus, or the Nexus 3, right. uh, which is uh, the development phone from Google. Very cool development here, guys. We're finally seeing another big player in the smartphone market. It was very nice speaking with you. Thank you. Subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for all of our CES content. Have a good day.